Hey folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me and welcome. Supposedly there is a volcano called Axla Volcano off the coast of Washington and Oregon. You can see it up over here. Here we got the state of Washington and Oregon. Um, there's been an increase in activity and they're predicting that it may erupt within the next couple of weeks. It has had three past eruptions and supposedly when it does erupt, it's not going to have any effect, they're saying, to the United States. But other articles have talked about how they are worried that it could rupture, cause a rupture for the Cascadia rupture zone. I haven't had a chance to go through this website to figure out how it's going to work. Um, but this here is for the uh, deep sea exploration, which is the Endeavor, which is located, I don't know if it's current or not, on the northern end of the Juan de Fuca uh, plate, tectonic plate. It says uh, southwest of Vancouver Island. They're saying that back on October 6th, I believe, they recorded over 200 um, small micro earthquakes this location and that was per hour um, they also evidently I'm not sure on the time frame put in a cable array was installed and instruments were deployed in that location and once it was turned on they were able to record over thousands of earthquakes every day like I said they were saying there was over 200 per hour what was interesting uh, many of you that may follow me I talked about tidal surges, uh, you know, the effects of the moon with um, different volcanoes and showing how it causes the eruption of them. And they start having an increase uh, during these uh, tidal triggering events. That's why I came to the conclusion that Yellowstone could be gearing up for another large earthquake, hopefully not an eruption within 18 months. But they also notice this uh, tidal triggering events going on here at the uh, volcano. These tidal tr triggering events are something new in research. But according to them, what they found that there was six times as many earthquakes during low tides as high tides. I haven't been able to find the actual data showing the earthquakes. Um, they do have hydrophones down there also. I'll give you a link to this website. It will be down below this video in the more information box. Here it says Endeavor site records the highest level of earthquake activity in 20 years. The article mentions all the earthquakes and it says the Neptune Observatory recorded more than 200 earthquakes including a magnitude 4.1 at its Endeavor site on March 6, 2024. So I tried to find the location of that earthquake and I couldn't find it. It's not listed under USGS. There was a magnitude 4.5 posted on the 6th of this month, February 22nd. It has a magnitude 3.4, but that is up by um, Seattle. This here is for the last month. And most of them are along the Blanco Fracture Zone or by the Mendocino Triple Junction. Now they're saying that the spike of earthquake activity at the Endeavor segment of the Juan de Fuca Ridge could be a sign of impending magma rupture, a natural phenomenon that can form new ocean floor according to O. Cross, a maritime seismologist at the University of Washington. The last known rupture in this area was back in 2005. Depending on the size of the eruption, you should have an evacuation plan for a tsunami alert. Yeah, you might get pumice along the, the coastal shores, depending on the size of the eruption. I haven't been able to find any new data about what's going on. I'm going to do that one, one website try and find some new update data let's see this is probably all the location oh we got let's see here 
um, they're testing the gases and the fluids. I don't know if this is the same area where they had the gases coming up. I'll have to look into that too. But thought I'd give you an update about this. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be prepared. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.